the following brands have in one way or another contributed to this video. Hello everyone, here is Max, the synth invasion continues on my channel and in this video I'm talking about Roland GR55 and Boss SY300 and specifically about what they can and what they cannot do. Don't tell me what I can do! Don't tell me what I can! Well, both of them are very powerful units, but the very first question people usually ask is, can it sound like a piano? The truth is, GR55 can, while SY300 cannot. And here is why. Even though both are called guitar synthesizers, they approach the actual synthesis from a completely different, I would say, opposite perspectives. Let's dig into that a little bit. <laughs> Okay, what do people think of when they hear synthesizer? This, some sort of a keyboard that can produce any sound from piano to drums. Okay, now what do keyboard players think of when they hear synthesizer? Probably this. What? It doesn't even have keys. And that is exactly what I'm talking about. In the first scenario, every time I press a key, a pre-recorded sound of a real instrument is played. What I'm saying is, it doesn't produce or create sound of its own, it simply plays pre-recorded samples of piano in this case, attached to every key. In the second scenario, on the opposite side, the sound is created from scratch by one or multiple sound generators. They are called oscillators and you can see that this synth has more than one. They produce simplest waveforms and it usually sounds like this. Doesn't really sound like a piano, does it? By combining multiple generators and using effects, it can produce crazy fancy sounds. But it is very hard or almost impossible to emulate a sound of a real instrument, like a piano. Now, if we come back to these two units, GR55 will be the one that uses pre-recorded samples of real instruments. while SY300 relies on sound generators or oscillators to produce sound. It does not mean that synth sounds are not available with GR55. In fact, it has a very rich collection of sampled synth sounds. The difference is that SY300 gives you the access to every single aspect of that synth sound, so you can tweak it and change it any way you want. For example, here's what the building blocks, or the simplest waveforms, generated by the SY300 sound like. And you can also use the actual guitar sound as a building block. The cool thing is that a SY300 doesn't need to know what notes you're playing in order to produce sound. It simply takes your guitar sound as a generator and transforms it into a new waveform. And this happens instantly, so there is no latency or delay between the note is played and the result is heard and all the details of your playing are transformed into the new format as well. Altogether, there are three sound generators, or oscillators, and four effect blocks, one, two, three, four, which you can mix together any way you want. And there are plenty of effect types, chorus, delay, reverb, pretty much everything you would normally need. Okay, let's switch over to GR55. As I mentioned before, it comes with hundreds of pre-recorded sampled instruments. Here are some of them.
In order to play correct samples at the right time, GR55 actually needs to know what notes you're playing. And therefore, it comes with this special polyphonic pickup, which is installed right next to the bridge, and a control unit. And that is the trickiest part, because the unit needs some time to figure out what notes you're playing, so there is some latency. It may also become a deal breaker for some guitarists because of the optics, because of the fact that you need to install something extra on your guitar, or simply because it uses a special cable and you cannot go wireless with it. As for sound building blocks, you can use two sampled sounds, the virtual guitar, which is the product of modeling and it has no latency, and your normal regular guitar sound. These four sound sources can be mixed together in many different ways, and of course there are effects. These three can be placed differently, and the other four, delay, reverb, chorus, and EQ, are at the end of the signal chain. I've mentioned modeling, and this is something very specific that only GR55 can do. It can emulate sounds of different guitars, electric guitars, acoustic guitars, basses, or even synths. Here's what it sounds like. Another great feature is that you can pitch every single string individually and create alternate tunings or even emulate a 12-string guitar. Here's what it sounds like. I also have to say that both GR55 and SY300 are self-sufficient units, which means they have everything you would normally need for guitar. Some kind of amp simulation, some paddles, some effects, and here's what it sounds like on clean for GR55. And here's SY300. Alright, let's listen to some distortion. GR55. And now SY300. As I mentioned before, both units allow you to mix your normal guitar sound with a synthesizer. The truth is, there is so much more to GR55 and SY300 than I was able to show in this video, but I hope it at least answered some of your questions. Well, here are a few more sound examples to get a better feeling of what these two are capable of.
Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, hit that subscribe button right there and don't forget about the bell button to get notifications every time I'm posting a new video. A special thanks goes to people in the list below. Those are my patrons. If you want to say thanks, hit the button on the left and join the list. Well, that's it for now. Have a good day and I'll see you soon.